Okay, so something that most people I think struggle with that do YouTube, sound mixing. This looks like it's footsteps, I think, is it? Yeah, footsteps. So these are definitely gonna be on the FX layer. Basically, the dialogue will have a compressor on it, which uh, compresses the highs in the, uh, the loudness uh, so that it gets more in the same range. So basically, I'm just gonna max this out, I think, and then maybe test it around 10 dB. Like you raise it 10, but you lower the top, like the, the noisiest part. Uh, this one, um, DX4, seems to have some trouble as well. So let's just see. Seems to be clipping too. So on that one, I'm gonna add a plugin, uh, which is Isotope RX series, which is really good. So this is clipping right yeah it's clipping so the clip okay so that's uh, just to clean this one up a little bit before you do the the whole compressor thing okay so now i got the dialogue evened out uh, and then you have the whole uh, atmosphere still that you need to kind of uh, set the right levels to and also with the fx you need to set the right levels so that it doesn't sound unnatural and the music and all that but the first part of it is cleaning up the audio and now you've leveled the whole audio tracks and all that but now you need to clean it with the equalizer i would just start by activating all of these i would remove a little bit uh, in the high frequencies and then this one i would probably uh, raise a little bit around there and then where the dialogue is I would probably around 1k I would probably raise it a little bit and Then this one I would lower it a little bit and this is like just uh, How I think it usually gets To sounding decently. It doesn't mean that I'm a professional at all. I just think this usually works like this but of course you need to listen to it uh, to see if it works or if it doesn't work because different microphones have different characters maybe they have more like mid tones and yeah all that mid frequencies or lower frequencies so you need to basically f uh, remove a little bit of the muffled sound in a lot of microphones that are close so for instance if you have a, a shotgun mic it's going to be one thing if you have a lavalier mic it's going to be one thing uh, labs you probably need to remove uh, a little bit less I think of the uh, the lower frequencies because it usually doesn't have as deep uh, of a sounding recording uh, but at the same time you need to clean out the whole muffled sound that you get because you're too close so it's a bit of a uh, playing around with the different microphones now I think let me just see the interview situation so here we have uh, the microphone is attached here on him I can see that in the image and then for the other one I can't see it but I'm guessing it's somewhere around the same place and then I'm just gonna turn on the speakers and just go through and see if uh, I need to make adjustments but this is just a, my basic setup that is my starting ground. So I basically haven't yet started uh, mixing it. This is just uh, part of the organization uh, of my projects. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna sit with this, I'm gonna try to clean all the audio out and, and make everything, you know, balance out. Uh, and then I'm gonna add some audio uh, to, like, the sound uh, 
designing of the whole project to see if some audio can be added. If not, it doesn't really matter uh, because I still think that the trailer is carried much by the song, so it's not really necessary for everything. But maybe add some, you know, punches at certain points, for instance. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I can um, just let you in on what happened then. Okay, I think I'm done. So, what did I do? Well, first of all, cleaning out the audio, really important thing. Uh, cleaning up and making everything balance and using a compressor to level things out, using an equalizer to uh, kind of make the sound more crisp, denoising certain material if it has noise. That's the basic audio part of it. And then atmospheres, uh, making them sound naturally by playing around with the levels, adding some atmospheres and FX sounds to emphasize the world that uh, is the whole mix and everything. And then the music just uh, making the levels all right. That's basically what I do when I sound mix stuff that has a short time span. So you can't go in like I do in a feature film. Oop. Uh, two of them uh, and just do all the the small things like you can work for hours and hours and hours with a small part of details in that and in commercials but with this it's not efficient enough so I have to kind of set a limit to what I do just like we do with the editing and, and all that on the channel so this is a basic sound mix that is yeah I thought it would be nice for you to see how I mix stuff especially since this series is running right now and yeah hope you like it hope you like these tutorials subscribe uh, and yeah see ya